It's time for another quick round of Q&A. This time, I'm gonna dive a little bit into some of your technical questions that you have. So I'll answer those coming up next. Hey everybody, Mike here from CMMG and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to go over a few of the questions that you guys have sent to us via our different social media platforms with some technical questions that you've got. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dive into these questions and yes, I am cheating, I have them right here. So, first question comes to us from Morty Nation on Instagram. The question is, how long and how much t &E did it take to design your radial delay blowback system? I would love a more in-depth video from the engineers about that. Not that I don't enjoy you, Mike. I think it would make a cool how we did it video, going through the initial designs, trial runs, etc. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> you're looking at me right now, but I'm not gonna let you down here. If you click this link right up here, this is gonna take you to a video that Ian from Forgotten Weapons, uh, one that he did where he had a very similar question. And Jordan, our uh, product design manager, also kind of known as our head engineer, uh, you know, he took the time to answer that question for Ian. So since he did such a great job there, just click that link and it'll give you a nice in-depth in some of the early trials and everything on the radio delay blowback system. The next question comes to us from AG on Instagram. Uh, I guess that's how you pronounce that. Ah, uh, that's how I'm gonna pronounce it, so I apologize if I just messed that up. But AG on Instagram asks, do I need to tune my new Banshee? It's a nine millimeter Xander's edition, MKGS, eight inch barrel. Uh, if I want to put a suppressor on it like a rugged Obsidian 45. I've seen some YouTube videos uh, where some are saying a bolt weight is needed. Well, uh, that's kind of a difficult question to answer there, but most likely I'm gonna say yes, get the action tuning kit. Uh, for the price of the kit, it does give you three different weight options that allow you to tune it for the specific load that you're looking at. Uh, since I don't know exactly how the pressures are gonna act using that suppressor and I don't know exactly which ammunition you're gonna be running, I would say it will probably be best to get the action tuning kit and use it. The next question comes to us from Abe Stinkin on Instagram. The question is, I have a 300 blackout Banshee running suppressed and subsonic ammo. I need, do I need to change the buffer weight? Well, the thing is with the eight inch barrel of a 300 blackout running suppressed, that's actually like the perfect configuration for that ammunition. I mean, that's really, what that ammo was designed to be run on. Uh, so and unless your suppressor does a lot of changes to the action of it, and I, I would say no, uh, you probably do not need to worry about adding a buffer weight to it. Uh, maybe have a heavier one on standby just in case you have some cycling problems, but I think you've quite possibly got the perfect setup for that ammo right there. All right, the next question is kind of a general question. We get this quite a bit. It comes to us through our tech support. It comes to us uh, you know, on all our social media platforms. So I don't specifically have a, you know, a person to point out on this one. The question in general is gonna be something like this. I've got a radial delay blowback inner caliber here, and I'm seeing some unusual wear on the backside of the bolt. Is that normal? Yes, it is normal. A lot of people will see that and they'll think that it is abnormal because that's not something you typically see on a gas operated or DI bolt face because the gas is actually what helps push the bolt, which makes it turn. Uh, in this case, you actually do have a little bit of contact from the back of the bolt face on those chamfered edges with the lugs in the chamber adapter. So you are gonna get a little bit of wear on those initially, uh, but once it gets to the point where it's done wearing, uh, you know, it, it's gonna work just fine. So expect to see some when you start off, uh, but it's gonna stop and it's gonna be kind of right in that sweet spot eventually. All right, thanks a lot guys for, you know, 
asking the questions. I know this was a fairly short video this time, but you know, the technical side of things, uh, a lot of you actually reach out to our tech support team for those technical questions. And I highly recommend continuing to do that. Uh, but you know, whenever I can take some time and answer some questions for you, I will be happy to. Uh, Expect to see more Q and A's uh, categorized kind of like this in the future. Uh, you guys keep asking questions, hit us up in the comments below with more questions. They don't necessarily have to be technical related. Uh, you know, they can be, you know, very product specific. Uh, you know, I'll do what I can to answer them for you guys. Uh, Cause as you guys keep asking, I'll keep answering more videos. It's just kind of a, a process. It just keeps going and going and going. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stop and get to the point of the video that you guys know is coming. If you thought this information was useful, please give us uh, you know, a, a thumbs up. It really does help us in the algorithm. It helps us grow this channel. It lets YouTube know you wanna see more stuff like this and it puts our videos in front of more of you. Uh, so it's extremely helpful. So give us a like, please give us a subscribe. We're really trying to grow the channel and we really wanna kinda of listen to you guys and see what kind of content you would like. So that's all for me today, guys. So. As always, until next time, stay safe out there.